get started adding a new product, you'll go to the dashboard, then Easy Cart Admin, then click on Store Admin, From here, you can go to Products, create new product. It'll be a retail item, I mean something that you're actually going to be selling. Uh, the service is something that doesn't have any f tangible products. Uh, d downloads for virtual things like an MP3. You want a retail item. Title, model number, you have to have something, but you can this is like the SKU, you can make it whatever you like. Uh, quantity and price. How many you have, how much you're selling it for. If you want to put in the description here, that's where we've been putting them so far. Click on advanced images. Browse, 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 and you can change all of the pictures. But you can only choose them one at a time, so you won't be doing four but then browse over here and do the same thing. And then once it's got all the info that you like, you hit the insert button. It'll tell you if there's anything you're missing. In this case, it's a model number. It has to have an SKU. And over here for our SEO settings, in case you want to put in keywords and description as well. That was the basic product for a product that has a drop-down with different selections. In Easy Cart, those are called option sets. So if something has an option of color, first you have to create an option set of color and what the different answers for it. So you'll go to option set and create new option set. I'm going to make this one size maybe. So option label is what it's going to actually say on the product page. And then option type is what will it look like? Will it be a combo box or image swashes? Uh, I'd say start with just combo box. It's easiest way, most useful. Then you hit insert. That saves it. So now we've got two things of options, one for colors and one for size. You want to click on edit set items in order to set the answers. So right now under size, we don't have any options. So we have to create a new one. This will be small. Uh, you can just leave these ones all by itself. Price adjustment. So if it needs to be increased uh, based, if they choose small, they have to pay more. You would choose it here. Do insert. Create a new one for medium. and a new third one for large. Once those have been saved, you can click back on Manage Products, go to the product, click Edit, and here in the title, Option Sets. So right now it's got options for colors, and I'm adding in an option for size. Now whatever you choose for the first option set, you can make it pop up different images based on what they choose, but only for the first one. So if you do want different colors, different pictures showing based on different drop-down menu, make that the first item. Hit update just to save what we have here. Now to go to images. So images before, we just added them in and it worked fine. If you want to use different images, based on their drop-down. You'll have to have this checkbox. It'll say, are you sure? And then based on blue or red, which are my two options for number one, I'll choose one picture. And then for blue, I'll use that one. And then just add in some uh, uh, 
once I've added in options for blue and for red, hit update, it'll say saved, and then view product on the site. Now that I've loaded the page, we've got our picture, and here is color and choose size. I uh, could make it say choose color, but you'll have to change that in the options. But when you click on red, this is the image that's chosen for red. If you go to blue, I've said use these three images instead. <laughs> but only when you choose blue. If you choose red, it goes back to the red pictures. And same thing as for size here.